Unfortunately, Kishore Sokaga is Fire Emblem in my eyes, right? To me, Fire Emblem never felt quite the same since Shozo Kaga left IS, right? To me. Fire Emblem never quite feels the same after Thracia. But again, that's not a bad thing. There are, there is excellent games past, uh, past FE5, but... To my knowledge and to, to my opinion, I think Tearing Saga is the, like, the last classic Fire Emblem game. It's the sixth classic Fire Emblem game, and it's technically FE6. In terms of Shozo Kaga's eyes. Um... I think it's a, I think it's a shame that it didn't never got released in the West because I think Tearing Saga is really fucking excellent. I might even say it's like one of the most underrated games I think I've ever played in terms of RPGs and in, especially in terms of SRPGs. Uh, I think Tearing Saga is a cartoonishly underrated with how good it is. Right? It isn't in my opinion. Sure, it's a long game, but it's very story focused and. And to get to continue the rant that I was going to bring up, so there's a reason Shozo Kaga did not want to make Fire Emblem 64. And I can tell you why. There's one exact reason why he did not want to make Fire Emblem 64. And that answer is because of the N64. Let's get this out the fucking way. The N64 sucks. I think that's one of the worst consoles ever made in human history. I said it. Fuck you. I don't care. I think the N64 is a pile of crap. I think the controller sucks, and I think there is a reason RPG developers left Nintendo. There's a reason Square left, and that's the thing. Some people claim, oh, it can't be the N64, and I'm like, guys, Square left Nintendo for a reason, right? Shozo Kaga left Intelligent Systems for a reason, right? He, he did. He left for a reason, and that reason is because... Fuck the N64. This thing's a piece of shit. I can't make an RPG with this. It's impossible. Right? It's impossible. I cannot make an RPG off the N64. It just doesn't have the memory. That's why he made Thracia. Right? And then he didn't want to make it. And he then didn't want to continue with that because he's like, well, I'm already going to be in bad standing with the company, so I'm not even going to bother with this fucking crap. All right, I'm out. Deuces. So, again, to my eyes, Shozo Kaga went to just go make a better game compared to what he was probably going to end up making. And Tearing Saga would not have been able to come out the way it did on the N64. And I don't mean how it looks. I mean how it actually plays, how the mechanics work, how long the game is. The game would have not been nearly as long, and the story would not have been nearly as fleshed out. Because in my eyes, Shozo Kaga is kind of a hidden dark fantasy novelist. Alright, he has a hidden power to write really good dark fantasy. And... I think, uh... He's able to do mature writing as well, since he's off of the more child-friendly Nintendo consoles. Right? It also happened to Final Fantasy. I know people like to call FE6 dark, but... Or FE6, FF6. People like to call FF6 a very dark story, because technically the apocalypse happens. But in FF7, shit just fucking gets bad. Like, people are getting murked left and right in 7. Right, it's pretty crazy. The death count- the, the fucking body count in that game is insane. Right, how much health does this guy have? Oh. I think Cliff doubles him. Alright, 6 speed. How much do these soldiers have? 3 speed, yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. I wish Cliff got another thing of speed now. Damn, I didn't realize that. Man, I didn't realize Cliff needed fucking 7 speed. Holy shit. Oops. <laughs> that was a mistake. Well, maybe he should have gotten that speed proc then. I forgot that soldiers have three speed in this. I was too busy focusing on the bandits and not really thinking about that. That sucks. Oh well. Um, but it's... <sighs> Tearing Song is an interesting game, but I do have the Duck Station, by the way. So I am able to technically play it, and, I, and there are English patches for it. So it's not an impossible task for me to get into it. And I would, I would like to do it. But it's just a really long game. Like, I would have to be, like, not doing anything else to really commit to an LP like that. 
I think Me Mecca's doing one right now, which I like. I've actually been watching that uh, LP, though I've... Uh, I, ha I, I stopped watching it, not because I want to play, but because I just... I forgot. <laughs> the, the, the game is so long that I actually kind of forgot about it after a while. Oh, right, this guy's a fucking iron bow, so he has a lot of range. Ouch. Oh, yeah, and uh, Gray has no defense, so he's just getting fucking shot. I mean, both these guys should handle the soldier. Oh, six damage, yeah. Okay, yeah, the game definitely spikes in difficulty here, but in my opinion, we don't really need to get everyone's classes up yet. Wow, three damage each? Ouch. Shit. Uh, okay, uh... Cliff needs to deal with that. This guy has 20 HP. Uh, I have to risk it here with... With my mercenaries here. Jeez, I forgot how much harder this gets. Four damage each, so that's eight more damage. Um, uh, that might be enough. I think he needs... Only 12, right? Because... Yeah, he has no magic defense. He has no resistance. Mmm... Who's likely to die here? I th I think... I have to heal him with Silk. Though I really need to use Silk more, but we can always grind Silk to where she gets warp. I mean, we're definitely going to want another grinding spree once we get a couple new party members. Oh yeah, that's right. I think she can sometimes double up on her healing. I think it's due to luck and skill, I think. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. And then let's have uh, Robin do damage. Also, yes, I'm aware this guy's name is actually Tobin in the remake, but this is a kind of an older patch. I don't know if they ever, like, redid this game's patch or not. I don't remember if someone did a new patch or whatever. I I, I don't remember. I thought I thought someone did a new patch for the remake names, but whatever. Uh, I have to hit him with fire here, because I actually do need to hit him. I mean, he'll die if I hit him. Yep, six speed, motherfucker. Six speed, god damn it. <sighs> okay. Uh, Luca needs to be Luca real quick. Alm's gonna have to deal with this guy over here. And... oh shit. Silk's gonna eat a big, fat lance. I think she'll be okay, but... Ah! Oh, right, yeah, because we're on fucking, uh, castle tile right now. So we actually need to pull back. Yeah, we need to retreat. We need to get these guys out of this fucking tile so we can actually hit them. Okay, you're gonna hit Gray. That's fine. Gray's at full health, and you missed, thankfully. Uh, this guy's probably gonna attack Silk. No. Interesting. Okay. Well, this guy's actually prime cliff food right now, because I think he's slow. I think we can double him because of the steel bow. Oh, it's a steel bow. Yeah, okay. That explains what it- Ooh! Cliff said, stop shooting my friends, you fucking bitch! Nice. Skill and speed. Oh, great. Perfect. Nice at seven speed. Uh, let's store it right now, because we don't have a... We don't have an archer right now. I mean, if Robin was an archer, obviously he would use it, but... Uh, fuck that. Uh... Who's better at killing this piece of shit? Also, yeah, with Luca, we need to retreat real quick. Yep, retreat. I think this guy will attack. Mm, he has more than half his health left, so I think... I think he'll attack. Which is what we want. We want him to attack. And we want them to attack this tile, so that way they, uh... Don't have as much dodge. Mmm... I mean, they're both the same level, so Robin's closer to getting a level up. Oh, that's actually... That's... Oh, good. Six damage exactly. I should check the... I should check the health, but I didn't. Good. Nice kill. Good kill. With a tire iron? <laughs> Fucking Russian badger reference. Scale speed... Hey, speed! What the fuck? Hey, you're not supposed to get speed, you little bitch. You need to have less than 15 speed, motherfucker. Otherwise, 
your promotion is kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, see, she sometimes only heals double. I've actually never seen her heal double before. That's kind of crazy to me. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Perfect. They took the bait. Fucking idiots. They took the bait. Nice. Get him, Luca. Fucking stab the shit out of these bitches. This is what you would turn into, motherfucker, if you were still alive! Alright, now we're hoping the other one takes the bait, but we're probably gonna have to fight him on, uh... We're probably gonna have to fight him on the tiles again. Good. Yes, yeah, we're probably gonna have to do this. And then retreat. Let's put Alm here so that the soldier attacks. Perfect. Boop 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 boop. Do 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 do. All right, let's bait this guy. Fucking idiots! You morons. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping he doesn't double him, actually. Because then he'll just retreat, and that'll be a problem. Alright, don't hit him here. Damn, oh no, I have. okay, I gotta fight him now. I gotta hope I hit at least one of these, uh, Lance hits. Uh, how much health does this guy have? Okay. Alm just needs to hit both of his attacks, and we're out of here. Oh, why am I not using Cliff here? Cliff would actually be really good. Because Cliff, Cliff can hit these guys no problem, because, remember, they, they're hiding in, um, in tiles that magic doesn't give a fuck about. Ooh, nice crit. Actually, not really. That crit would have been nice earlier, but yeah, 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 whatever. We'll take it. It's a, it's a guaranteed hit. Crits don't miss. Especially when you're dealing with one, with one RN. Oh, we might be able to hit him with thunder here. Yeah. Let's see if we can hit him with lightning. Because that's a 70 accuracy period. Ah, rats. Oh, well. If he somehow retreats right here, if he somehow retreats, then we will... Nope, okay. Luca killed him. That's cool. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I, I thought this wouldn't go very well, but actually it went much better than I thought. Okay. Uh, first... Yeah, item. We need to go into our items. Swap. Uh, Cliff has the leather shield. Actually, that's fine. Weirdly enough, I actually think that's okay. Let's go into the S Fort. Treasure! Got a bolt sword. So we're gonna give that to Ulm right away. Unless he already has it. Yeah. So, uh, the thing about the bolt sword in this game is that it does 15 damage, period. I actually, no, it does magic damage, but enemies don't really have magic defense in this game. So they end up, uh,. They end up taking 15 damage normally. Thank you for saving me. I'm clear. And one of the Knights of Sophia, my older brother Clive, leads the Liberation Force. Let's go to the base together. Yeah, here's our Pegasus Knight, Claire. Uh, she's okay. I think she has. I think she's tied for having the third highest speed growth in the game. And that tie. Oh, no, no. Uh, like, she has 55. I think she does. I think Cliff only has 50. I believe, like. Mmm... I need to remember the growths. I'll, I'll have to pull them up, uh, but she has... Yeah, you know, she has stuff, so yeah, we got a couple more battles up ahead. So you got this guy over here. How's her power? It's pretty good. So I believe this guy's a big difficulty spike. Eh, not really. Ah, that's funny. Yeah, because it's just Cavaliers. I'm actually curious, do they show their stats now? That's fine. We'll figure out their stats when we actually fight them. Um... I mean, I guess we could technically try to work on Claire, but let's see here. Yeah, because there's an archer, and I believe this archer doesn't have a bow. So here's the thing. How the effective damage works for Pegasus Knights in this game is that these guys have to have a bow equipped. He does not have a bow equipped. So he won't do effective damage to, to Claire, but Claire's still very frail because she only has 20 HP and it's four defense, which isn't the best, but, you know, she's really fast. She could actually intercept that, uh... This lone cavalier <laughs> just out here. Like... 
We only got five speed though. Actually, that's pretty fast. Luca can probably take him, but I'd rather have Luca take on all these guys right now because he's so tanky. Same with Ulm. Ulm and Ulm and uh, <laughs> I keep saying Ulm. Ulm and Luca are pretty tanky right now compared to everybody else. Yeah, because these guys only have like 25-ish HP. Yeah, 25, 26. Cliff needs to get to level 9, but we're also going to get that through grinding. Because we actually are going to grind a lot of people. Because we're going to get a whole new, like, group of recruits. Pretty soon. So I'm not going to worry about the Cavalier right now. He's not, a, he's not a threat. Honestly, I don't think he ever becomes a threat. Though I do admit, Silk does need to get a kill so that way she can, uh, or at least she needs to get in the battle once. Yeah, this archer shouldn't be too threatening. It's only level one archer with five damage. That's it. Luca and all of them should absolutely like get these guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I was drinking something milky, so my throat's a little froggy. Oh wow! Holy shit! Wait, I thought he was critting. Oh my god, I thought he was critting for some reason. I forgot that's the bolt sword animation. See, so yeah, I think it has a hit rate of eighty. I think. Like, I think its base hit is 80, and it does go down when, um, you, uh, people do stand on tiles, so it's not as good as magic, but it's okay. It's actually a pretty solid sword. We're probably gonna give that to Robin, because I think Robin's weaker than Grey. I think. I'm pretty sure Robin's always gonna be weaker than Grey. HP. <laughs> God. Guiding Gross, aren't they fun? Uh, I think that Archer's the most powerful thing on the field right now. 24. So you're 16 times 2. Hmm. Well, so that's only 14 times 2. Actually, he kills this Archer if he hits both of these, because... These guys are 26. I think we can kill this guy. Do we do 14? We do 13. That's fine. That's still 24. That's 26. So that's good. That means we can kill this guy. Good. Archer's not a threat. Yeah, Luca's pretty good in the early game. I mean, it may seem like he's bad. He's only he only gets less good as the game keeps going. He's really really good here. He actually shines the best, in my opinion, in this portion of the game. Because he actually can fight everything pretty effectively. Because we're not fighting a lot of magic users. Um, so that really helps him be like a, a straight up frontline tank. So let's hit this guy with some fire. I think we can double these guys now because they should only have um, three speed still. And Cliff's got a, a nice... Yeah, Cliff should be able to double these guys, because he technically has four AS when he's um, using fire. We'll need to... Sorry, I'm very swallowy right now. Uh, <clears throat> we'll need to get... Um, we'll need to get uh, Silk into a fight. She doesn't need to win. She just needs to get into a fight so she can level up, because I do need her to get to level 7. Uh, because that's when she can, uh, learn warp, and that's a really good spell for us. But we'll get all that by grinding anyways, so it's not really, like, a worry. It's just that, you know, it makes it easier to grind her, because there's gonna be a lot of characters we're grinding. So, there's gonna be a long break in between this, the up-and-coming pause. But we still have a couple of battles where I'm able to commentate my way through all this shit. And eventually, at some point, probably after Act 2, I'll probably speed up the game. Because it just takes a while to get through this game. Because it's so fucking slow. Um, I mean, I'm kind of hoping to get through Act 1 in this single session, but maybe not. We'll see. I mean, I have another, like, while to record, so I think we'll be okay. Because I usually like to record for about four hours, and I think that's enough time to get through Act 1, which is up until uh, the castle area.
Like, basically, once we start Silica's route, I'll probably move on to a new recording session. Yeah. See, we're getting through this. It's not too bad. I was a little worried, but I realized, wait, I have Luca. What am I worried about? <laughs> I have Luca. He could just fucking three-shot these guys and make it easier for everyone else to get kills. Let's get to crit here. Yeah, Luca's so good. I don't think he's usually this good because I I, I don't think he usually gets speed for me, so he doesn't usually end up, uh, he doesn't usually double these guys. Because he's got five speed, right? Yeah, he has. Uh, 20 health. I mean, this doesn't matter. I just need Silk to get some experience right now. She's had, she's been level four for a little bit. That's all she needs. Luck. Jeez. Uh, what's this guy's deal? 4 HP. Uh, how much Claire does? She does 8. Versus... How much defense? She does 3. I mean, I don't have much of a choice. I gotta, I gotta go for it. Oh, she got a crit. Nice. <laughs> well, no need to worry. She got a crit. And then Cliff here can get the kill right here. We do have a cab coming, a level five, uh, a five speed cab, which means Luca will not be doubling. But that's okay. We don't need him to double. Hmm. I mean, let's see, Gray's got 25 experience. I has got 34, but... Gray's... 11. Ah! Gray can take him on. Right? Or can he not? Okay, uh, I need Alm to move out of the way, then. So here's what I'm gonna have Alm do. I'm gonna have Alm try to block... the entrance to that so he doesn't retreat. And then we'll have Gray get the kill here. Oh, this guy's gonna try to run away. Alright, some experience. Ah, crap. Well, I gotta get Luca to kill because Robin won't, won't reach. That's a shame. Alright, get him. So I forget what level Luca has to be because he's already a tier 2, uh, by the way. Which is why he's so strong. Because uh, his next promotion's Baron, uh, which is pretty good. Baron looks really cool. They have like a cape and a shield, like a big old shield. Okay, uh, block this with Alm. Thankfully, Alm has one to two rage. So, there we go. Oh yeah, Holmes does double the Cavalier. I'm pretty sure he loses speed using the Bolt Sword too, which is why uh, the two speed procs are kind of important, because I think he's able to keep his seven speed base with the Bolt Sword, which is really nice. Uh, so let's move on to the next fight. Then we'll move into that shrine. So this is the Cav map. Which is unfortunate. Uh, so, we don't have warp on Silk. If I had warp on Silk, we would just warp Luca to, to that uh, bridge. But we're going to have to walk. But we technically also have Claire, and Claire can technically do some stuff, but, you know, she... She just got some... only one kill. <laughs> I wouldn't say some experience, but she only got one kill, so she didn't really level up. So she's not really, like, in a good spot. I mean, I could have given her the leather shield, I think. Wait, who has a leather shield? The clip, right? Hmm. Yeah, that should work, because that should raise her defense to seven. Uh, how much damage do you guys do? Eight? I have to assume eight. Nine. Okay, so they, do deal, they deal two damage to her. That's pretty good. 
They basically do half their damage. 